Man, I've been saying this since season one when Claire was first introduced. Her bloodline ability is absolutely bonkers. And I don't think a lot of people are catching on to exactly how strong she could be. Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Much Sayyidum Akun. Last episode, we got to see exactly what's going on with Clara. Her entire, like, monster dino suit thing, it is part of her blood of ability. And then basically, it's Clara's territory. It's her realm. I forgot what it's actually called. I think it's, like, called Toy Box or something. Basically, she's God. And in her realm, she can do anything she wants. The person dragged into it just kind of gets swept up under this, this, like, false lure of... Um, just like a toy field, this playground where everybody's just playing, having fun. But while they do that, their mana gets strained and they become basically too tired to fight. But beyond that, I really think this is basically something like, um, uh, I I'm not sure if this is the right comparison, but like if you've seen Fate, the Fate series, like, uh, what's it called? Unlimited Blade Works, where you bring someone into your own realm and you're basically controlling everything that goes around it. How different is this from that? quite different obviously but i think it's most important to note that it's the power is ridiculous but because it's bound to clara i think a lot of people just immediately kind of don't think of it as busted or broken they just kind of be like haha fun cute games yay musicals right stuff like that okay agares is another character that's also busted and i thought that he could only do earth bending no, 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 his bloodline ability is whatever he considers his territory, his space, he's able to manipulate that. It's kind of also really, really insane. He seems to have built some kind of like Japanese style castle. I'm not really sure what's going on there. What happened to everybody? I thought we we're supposed to be hunting food and stuff, but I guess it is the nighttime we're trying to rest up. Anyways, let's get started with today's episode. The Windblade. Make sure to eat your veggie. That's right. Make sure to eat your veggies. It's very important to have dietary fiber in your diet. Yeah, except we have invaders! The girls! Uh... What's her name? Dosa... After, I don't really know the other girls' names. I only know them because they're always around, but one of them looks like Eiko, right? <laughs> she, she really doesn't want anybody here, man. Yes. My home, my territory. Acknowledging that the earth and trees are all part of the ground. Right, but this time it was just my my area of bed. But it's not limited to just earth and trees. What about the air? What about like water? What about everything that exists in the world? Pretty much everything he creates is his bed. They're so down bad for you. Oh, not only that, but we specifically got trained to use our uh, bloodline ability why was she crying the entire time i have no clue i have no clue why she kept crying that's just part of her quirk her personality drink that her <laughs> enjoy your stay one side is like yeah please enjoy your stay drink your hell great tea all the sides are good though fuck out why not i mean it'd be kind of mean yeah it'd be so mean <laughs> don't get baited I mean, there's still teachers going, roaming around, doing a uh, like protection duty. Are they? Well, they just kind of train together. I don't know anything about these two, to be honest. They don't get much screen time. Just some stupid busybody. What does busybody mean? Like, he's always just doing shit? He came over to his house once? Wait. So they were friends before getting paired up? Maybe. Every day? It's basically as as and Iruma, except... Iruma wouldn't be this cold. Damn, this guy's min-maxing school. He doesn't give a shit. There's no ambitions. Oh, his ambition? Like a hundred friends? What are you, Komi? <laughs> Komi can't communicate? I think her count was like a thousand or something. I forgot, actually. Maybe it was a hundred, but... What does busybody mean? Am I misunderstanding something? That's not a common term that I really know. Busybody as in... Like you're just busy doing stuff? I'm gonna search this up. Busybody. Busybody, a meddling or prying person. Gotcha. Like you can see right here, he's a little bit... Like, kind of invading personal... Boundaries, I guess. That's what a business busybody is. But I bet Agadez thinks that, you know, it, it's nice to have somebody, like, pry into his life because he's, like, shut everybody out, right? He acts annoyed, but deep inside, 
maybe he, like he like appreciates him because if he didn't come one day i bet he'd be like what he didn't come over today what happened i gotta is kind of talking a lot yeah also what's up with his head now more importantly what's up with the cloud what is that cloud it still hasn't been explained why is there just like this kind of sentient cloud oh he's going though no he won't stop oh this shading makes it look super epic that's kind of true if we're aiming to win we shouldn't get involved with other people unless we'll save you if you give us some points something like that if you can make like a bargain out of this right but no yeah I think even Agares wants to help deep inside because he felt bad about just lashing out on him. Yeah. Now is he going to go and apologize? I'm sorry. No, he probably will be back immediately. So even if he lashes out on him, Garp still comes back. Man. At this point, I don't think Agares deserves Garp, man. This type of support from Garp is insane. Look how nice he is! But at least here now he starts to appreciate him more and more. He is super annoying! <laughs> completely oblivious. That's just a good guy. You should feel lucky that you have someone like him in your life to just like bring you out of his shell. I want to see what he's got now, right? His training. How did his powers get enhanced? No, these are just regular cuts as usual. I want to see something more. What else can he do now? Super fast. But this is all still what he could do before. No, these are basic wind swords. Looks cool though. Oh. So they can come in? Are they all the people we saved just now or what? That's a lot. I only saw like four. What the fuck? That's like an entire class. But the castle is big enough to be honest. I don't know. I, we're just helping them out. I'm telling you, we should tax them. Make them pay rent. <laughs> Every day they stay over, I gotta pay like food. Oh. Oh, Furufu does a natural. Oh, Sully. And Bachiko. Bachiko is always like this around Sullivan. She's always so nervous. It's almost as if Bachiko has like a crush on him or something. I don't know, she's just so all mushy around him. It's okay, because we're just gonna get the legendary leaf or something, and then everything will be fine. I hope. I, I hope. Aren't you famous too? But they're... Yeah, the three great heroes, right? Furufuru and Vespar, and who else was it? Was it Bachiko? That were the three great heroes? Kerori and G. Kamui. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty well. I mean, their powers are especially suited for this. Damn, 14k already. Oh, Bottom did it without hurting anybody. 55,000. God damn. Young Bala, man. He's a monster. He didn't hurt anything and still got that many. Well, he's a master of like this kind of biology, right? I wonder how Caligo did. Who was the advisor? Opera was? Oh. No, it's gonna be their students. They are taming people too, yeah. Pretty much. 9.4k, okay. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Oh, is that young... Young sensei right now back in the day? Sheesh. Wait, even the food that's being cooked on top of her is like has like hard eyes. Who? Caligo? Was it Caligo? Who was that? Who was the man that she couldn't tame? Yo, I want to know. Sully, you got to turn the TV on yourself if you want to check on your students. They're having a party. 
Are they getting points though, or just refugeeing everybody? How is the scam artist doing? Debbie. Uh -huh. And then steal everything and leave. Ching, ching. Stole everything, goodbye. In plain sight. 12.6k. Pretty damn good. I think uh, Keruri's group is still on top. Yes. What's up? You gotta check up on Iruma. <laughs> turn the TV on yourself, dummy! Everyone else turned the TV on and then we got to see their students. You gotta do it to yourself too, man. Like, where's the remote? Will he win though? Won't it be up? <laughs> Here we go. How is he doing? Those are points. What are we doing, man? They're still talking about girls. Like, dude. Dude. I mean, they are talking about romance, true. Opera is laughing? Yeah, I think they kind of did. Like, what are we doing? But again, all these points doesn't really matter, right? If we get that legendary leave, that's 100k immediately. Also, if we took out a couple of the boss monsters at once, then we can get to above 10k that faster. He's thinking about Clara? Not Amiri? Well, I mean, she did say I love you. It's kind of like, yeah, she, she did say that. That's two totally different. Well, I love you still. Uh, I don't know. Iruman doesn't need to get his hopes up. It's more for the girls. Leads right though about his own advice to himself. <laughs> Maybe being relaxed is good. How to make history though? No, it's time to make history. Oh. Bachiko. Oh, you talk you dare talk shit about my student? My Iruma! Oh wow. Bachiko's kinda invested in him. Remember before her flashback of how she got so invested in the past and then they kind of like quit and she got betrayed and she turned very cynical? Now she she's invested all in Iruma. It's like nice to see that she's got that that desire and passion back. She's so proud of Iruma. She fits right in with Sullivan and Opera then. It's the biggest Iruma stands. But dude, Solomon in this like little chibi egg form still is so funny. I don't know how. It's just so ridiculous. He just starts spinning around. Uh -huh. No, the nighttime terror. As as his sound. Bro, this is what we started the Harvest Festival with. They completely like went off of it. Finally, we're back. I wonder how they're doing. Because the Dodo Dodo brothers are all about um, kind of like cheating, right? Aren't they like very cunning also? Like those back kind of techniques, isn't that why they got held back a year or something? No sleep though, is that smart? That's another episode of Iruma-kun. I guess next episode we're gonna get right back into Saburo and Azaz, you know, against the Dorodoro brothers, even though that's like the first thing that we entered the Harvest Festival arc with. Imagine if they just like off-screen them again. It's like, come on, man. I wanna see them actually have like epic competition, but it should be fun. As to who's gonna win, I think Iruma winning Makes sense, yeah. They're at zero points. Everyone's kind of like looking down on him. Also, Furu Furu kind of said nobody that's uh, ever, nobody that started at zero points on the first day has ever won. So that's another thing that can be like, oh my god, the first student in the history to have zero points on the first day and I don't know, find a magical leaf or something. So I think it's gonna be fine for them. But also, usually in tournaments like this, it's the least expected that wins at the end due to some kind of bullshit. Like for example, finding the the leaf. I'm not sure who that could be. <laughs> Being, it being Iruma kind of makes sense, but it'd be funnier to me if like someone completely unrelated, like Lash is fucking one. I don't know. It, it, it'd be kind of funny, but that would be disrespectful because the winner of each Harvest arc, like Harvest Festival is like, it's like a very important title. You can't just be like a meme winner. So I hope that Iruma does win. Anyways, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube I'll push that my small channel team recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.